Hi Church, welcome to today's devotion. It's Friday the 29th of March. It's Good Friday in the Christian calendar. It's Good Friday, the day that Jesus gave up his life for you and me. In Matthew 27, 50 to 54, it says this, And when Jesus had cried out again in a loud voice, he gave up his spirit. At that moment, the curtain of the temple was torn in two. From top to bottom, the earth shook, the rocks split and the tombs broke open. The bodies of many holy people who had died were raised to life. They came out of their tombs after Jesus' resurrection and went into the holy city and appeared to many people. When the centurions and those with him who were guarding Jesus saw the earthquake and all that had happened, they were terrified and exclaimed, surely he is the son of God. On this day, everything changed. Take a moment to think about what happened. Jesus, the Bible says, was led like a lamb to the slaughter. In quiet submission, he bore the sins of the world, forsaken by his father, mocked by the people, pierced for our transgressions and crushed for our iniquities. He was bruised, battered, humiliated and broken. Pause here and think that that was for me. On Good Friday, we remember that Jesus laid down his life for us. It was the ultimate act of love. He could have called legions of angels down. Imagine that for a moment, an epic moment of sword-wielding angels advancing to free and protect their king. But this didn't happen as the king was protecting us, saving us from... Uh, saving us. And in this ultimate act of love, he laid down his life so that you and I could have ours. I love the fact that death could not take him. That in fact, Jesus gave up his spirit. He decided when it was time and he declared it is finished. At that moment, the veil in the temple that separated God from man, that only the priest could go behind with a rope tied around his ankle so that they could pull him out in case anything bad happened, was torn in two. It was a thick curtain, not your standard Ikea special. It was over three inches thick and it was torn in two, signifying that Jesus... Death meant that you and I had access to God. There was nothing in the way and it was Jesus who now stood in between us and the Father. Good Friday is good indeed. It means that you and I are restored to a relationship with the Father. Sons and daughters, joint heirs and that death has no sting and has lost its victory. Jesus is the Son of God. Have a great rest of your day. We'll see you next week for more devotions. Love you, church.